Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you are new. Look, we have our new palette faux packs box. What, what? I know, right? Super amazing. I have a sharp object, which is never a good thing. <laughs> and we are going to go ahead and slice it open. Let's double checking for extra tape. Safety first. All right. Okay, I have no idea. I have purposefully not looked in the um, at the ads and whatnot. Ooh, look at the blue! I love it. Oh, that's a nice blue. You guys, look. Copic opaque white. Dot T O O two two as it also and what what? <gasps> Come on, focus. You know you want to. There it is. Ta -da. What is this? All right, so this is the first thing we're gonna open. Look at all the color. <gasps> Look at all that color. It's amazing. This. You know what? I don't have my glasses on. Which is kind of frowned upon in my my video making whatnot and stuff. Copic Opaque White. I do love the Copic brand. Opaque White What? I love this packaging too. Harmful if swallowed. No kidding. Are you like totes serious? Hold on. I need my glasses, you guys. I'm gonna need the glasses. Hold on. Okay, I have my glasses and here we are with our Copic Opaque White. Copic Opaque White made in Japan. Oh, can't read that. We'll find out what that is in a minute. It comes cutely packaged though. I dig this color so much. <gasps> OMG Batman! I wanted new Poscom. I was almost on the verge, you guys, of buying new Posca markers, like the set of them. Look at that. I'm so glad I didn't buy them. Look, I got new colors. <laughs> this is great. We have pink, green, and yellow. Na -na. We're going to need the, the sharp object to get all the plastic off of these. Here, let's do that right now. Why not, right? We'll just... Poke a hole and rip a tear, right? Let's go this way. Oh, those are pretty. I can't wait to swatch. Uni. Can you see it? Oh, there it is. Posca pens. Mmm, so beautiful. We'll set that there. We'll set that up way up there. I'm going to pop this one open. They're individually plastic wrapped for our safety. In case they explode maybe in the box. <laughs> and there's our lovely green. And then our gorgeous yellow. Oh, pot. oh this is great. Look, I see more Posca stuff down below. Do you guys see it? You see it down there? <laughs> Alright, this one's being difficult, y'all. There it is. I think we got it now. Pow! Bam! Kapow! There we go. Yellow. <gasps> so exciting. Look at those colors against that blue. How vibrant is that? Let's, you know, safety. We like safety. I'm going to set these guys over here. Like so. Now let's check out what these are. What are you? Oh, they're pastels. Oh, I love pastels. A Uni Posca pastel in brown, made in Japan. Oh, can't wait to test you guys. There's a little bit of a wax bloom on there, but I mean, most pastels, the cheaper ones, can do that. And we have another one in Le Purple. Nope, Violet. This one's Violet. How gorgeous is that? So we have brown and violet and pink and yellow and green. Uh, um, 
puzzled about the color combo so far, plus the opaque white. Huh? What else? We have other, like, oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Look at that. A paintbrush. Who doesn't like, wow, well, look at that package that is. That sucker's in there. All right, let's poke a hole in the little packaging. Set that up there. And we have a Robert Simmons Sapphire Number no. 3 watercolor brush. Let's pull that off there. Long point. Uh, level 2, long point 3. I don't know what that means. But there's our information. And there's our point. It's a nice point. I mean, it's a good... Good brush. To, let's see what we'll just drop that there. It's got some good snap. I like it. I love the color. That's gorgeous. All right, so we're gonna set that there. Let's get our blue blue worms out of the way here. We'll set those up there. I might save those. Okay, here's our card, and here is our substrate. Oh, what is this? you my darling my darling beauty Posca pen <laughs> oh aqua green nice so yellow green aqua green and pink huh interesting color combination we have there let's put that up there strip it down oh let's see I love that I love that color let's put you on with your friends and here's our Here's our, our lovely palette, Premier Palette for Packs talent, or little information card. We have the paint markers, which are these guys. And we have our pastels, which are these two. And we have our Copic White, our brush, and our ooh, Ultra Black Textured Paper. <gasps> oh, I've been wanting some extra. Here, hold on a minute. I want to hurt myself. This thing's been swinging around too long. Safety. Look at it. Textured black boards. Three 8x10 ultra black boards. Huh. Truly the blackest black board on the market. Perfect for all pastel chalk, colored pencil, and acrylic applications. Easily, easily port easy portability. Perfect for plain air pH neutral. Let's just see about the blackest black situation. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You know, in a previous box, I got the blackest black paper, which was much deeper black than this, but look at that. This has a little bit of a textured side. Can you guys see the texture? And if you flip it, it's less textured. It's more smooth. So Crescent Creative Products. Textured black boards. And we get three of them to play with. One, two, three. What we're going to do is we're going to swatch over here. And then we're going to take this section and do a piece of art. And then we'll do two more on those pieces. If we get that far. This is fun. Hmm. Crescent Ultra Black Textured Boards 3-Pack. Your Uniposca paint markers and pastel pencils will really pop on this black illustration board. Constructed with solid black core and a surface that allows the paint to be applied without fast absorption. Huh. Here's some tips. E each palette packs card comes with information on each product and then Tips on how to use the product, and then prompt words to for your creation. Hold on, the battery's gonna die. One moment, told my friends. And we're back with a full battery. Yay! Okay. So back to this card. Palette packs, tips, and prompts. Our Uni Posca markers. Shake the marker energetically up and down with the cap on. You will hear the ball inside clicking. There it is. Announcing that the paint color inside the Posca marker is being mixed. 
press the tip several times. I've already used these so I know how it, how it goes. If necessary, you can clean the tip of you can clean the tip under the, the tap as often as you want. If it gets dry, you can leave it to soak in water overnight. Huh, didn't know that. Posca markers can be kept in any position as long as the cap is firmly put on after use. So you don't have to store these flat, which is what the case is with most alcohol markers. You need to store them laying vertically instead of or laying horizontally instead of vertically. <laughs> I had that backwards, sorry. Our prompt words for this month are number one, one prompt is song. Ooh, cactus. We might do something with that. Pixel art and flower. We can do cactus and flower. Those are going to be our prompt words. All right. Let me look up some reference photos and get back to you guys in a hot little minute. I'm totally saving these blue ones. I really dig them. Look at them. They're so vibrant and gorgeous. Look at that color. Is that not beautiful? No? You don't think so? I think so. All right. Give me a little minute. We're going to look up reference photos of cactuses and flowers. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and... Well, let's focus. Um, why are we not focusing? Okay, let's put um, this guy here for a focus point, and then we're going to take our Posca pants. We just want her to shake them up. You're supposed to shake them, and they they come out white like so, and then you dab and pound. Hello? Oh, oh, here it comes. Oh, these take a hot minute to prime. Hello? See? Just starting. Just starting to prime. Do you see it coming? It's coming. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. That. Oh, that's a cool color. Look at that. And then if you're quick enough, if you're quick enough, you can use water and sploosh them around. But once they're dry, they're dry. Yeah, well, once, once they're dry, that's all she wrote. Okay, so that's the green. I love that. That's a crazy amazing color. All right, these are different sizes too. The, the green and the aqua green are P6. Is that? Let's see. P6M, uh, 5M. And the littler ones are 3Ms. So let's shake them all together. We're shaking. We are shaking, not stirred. <laughs> Bond, anybody? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pop the tops off all of them. And we're going to prime them at the same time. Hopefully. Ready? Let's turn the paper this way so that they're priming each in their own spaces. Is that making the camera shake? Sorry. Sorry. Oh, come in. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Look at that. All right, we're going to keep grabbing these guys. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, little buddies. Oh. Wow, these are taking a little bit of time. All right, so let's swatch this guy. Oh, that's a really nice green next to this guy. 
And then go ahead and give it some some watercolor. I did that. That's cool. All right, so there's our green. Pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow. Hello? Oh, they're coming. They're coming, you guys. They're on their way. Oh, wow. Focus. No, no. All right, keep going. Quit messing around. Oh, the yellow beat the pink. <laughs> See? <laughs> There it comes. Ooh, that's vibrant. That's super vibrant. We got some nice fine lines with that one. Look at that. And this is a fatty, so he gets. That's the finest line those guys are getting, which isn't bad. But this gets nice fine lines. And also. Hello. Let's see if it will. Wash down. Oh, wow, this paper really sucks up the, the ink. Okay. Water with our new brush. Oh, it's got a bit of texture to it. All right. Now, ooh, that's a very neon yellow. Woo! <laughs> Especially against that paper. Woo, that's not the yellow I was hoping it would be. You'll see why in a hot minute. But we water it down. It should be all right. All right. And once again, super fine lines. And these are opaque, so I would imagine once they're dry, if you put them over the top of each other, it would become even more solid color, more opaque once it dries. I'm going to get some good textures with it, though. That's cool. Ooh, I picked that. Uh -huh. I like that that you, that you can liquefy them with watercolor and kind of draw them down. Cool. All right. Digging it. Let's put the covers back on with these guys. Let's do some scratching around because I mean it's only fair, right? Scratchy are right there. And then we have these guys, which are pastels, supposedly. Brown. All right. Ooh, it lets the paper shine through. I like that. Given the piece of art that I've decided to try, that's cool. And then, do we water? Nope, completely repels the water, so that's not an option. Purple on, on the paper. Ooh, that's vibrant. Okay, so how about mm. it repels the ink a little bit too, but not enough. Not enough. All right. Pink. The Green is super opaque. Okay. Oh, 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 we got it on the desk. That's okay. It'll be alright. Oh, alright. Let's see what this guy does. This is our Copic White. Now this says, the Copic White pigment is water-based pigment used for highlight effects. Opaque white won't bleed into the color, giving a, a sharp line definition. It can be used on permanent ink surfaces as well as acrylic watercolor and colored pencil. The Posca's markers, as you can see, are a very opaque paint marker, popular with artists and creative hobbyists. Essential, an essential, 
it says, it should say look, but it says took for creation and self-expression. It is used by professionals and amateurs every day on all types of materials. We highly encourage you to visit Posca's website. Right there. Focus. Focus. F oh, come on. Maybe if I stop shaking it. Uh, pull it back. No, no, there it is. Okay, so there you go. Tosca's website for why are we why are we visiting the site? Where was I up here to explore all the various ways people use these markers? The non-toxic and water-based opaque paint covers well. It's blendable and dries quickly and can be overlaid when dry. You can use the markers on paper, board, wood, fabric, glass, ceramic, plastics, metals, minerals, and canvas. Minerals? What does that mean? What kind of minerals? What are we talking about? Huh. Moving along. We have our pastel pencils, which are pretty much um, pastel pencils, but Posca has been exclusively known for its marker brand. After several years of research, Posca has now launched pastel pencils. These pastel pencils have the kind of high quality permanence and pigmentation that you would expect from Posca. The pastel pencils offer soft, blendable, and expressive way to sketch and paint with an added benefit of a coated body. They're also comfortable to hold and mess-free. They are kind of mess-free. I'm not sure about the blendable. Let's, let's see. They kind of feel like a color crayon. They go down really well. There's our brown. Here's our purple. Generally speaking, these feel like oil pastels. Um, not seeing how they're terribly blendable. But they do smudge a bit. Alright, let's see. Our opaque white. Usually the opaque whites do really, really well. Copic is an amazing brand. I've used the Copic markers and they are so nice. Let's do a drag across all the colors like so. Maybe one more drag like that. And then a blob. Sploosh it around. This paper is really got a nice texture to it. So the piece that I'm thinking about doing, which I've already sketched out, is um ooh, how do you clean? Oh, you clean up pretty good. Look at that. Clean as a whistle. I like it. Okay. So I went ahead and sketched out. We're gonna cover this because me and liquids, not a good plan. I'll pop you back in your box. I went ahead, I'm going to move our, our samples away. Here's all of our colors. They're incredibly vibrant. Like super vibrant. Digging it. Alright, so setting that aside, setting that aside. We have, I went ahead and in pencil, you see the shine, sketched a bee and a flower. So, we're going to go ahead, set this guy here. And I put this here so that my camera has something to focus on. So it doesn't kick out of focus all the time because it's super annoying. Alright. And for the first thing we're going to do is use our brown pastel and gently touch in where... Actually, you know what we're going to do first is our yellow on the B. I mean, because then I'm going to have to, I'm going to want to touch it up with, um, with, um, what am I thinking? Like, put some glow on it with the, the opaque, the opaque, the Copic opaque white. Woo! That was hard to say. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to dot, 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 because bees are... 
if you haven't been to the site, my channel, um, I love to draw bees, uh, bugs, animals. I, I like to draw humans, but they're not my go-to. Um, animals, bees, bugs, butterflies, frogs, foxes, dogs, cats, wolves, spiders. Oh, oh I do love to draw a, a cool spider. Spiders are awesome. Um, and then here we have a bit more yellow happening. How are we looking? Oh, wow, that's super vibrant. I feel like I should zoom in a little bit. Zoomy zoom. There we go. That's better. I'm going to set this here. And, you know, come on. Play nice. Thank you. And then finish our B. But I really enjoy drawing animals in, in general. Um, every once in a while I'll do a nice, a nice landscape. I am trying to, to expand my horizons and explore my limitations and draw like humans and creatures. Creatures are on the agenda for this year. Which basically creatures are, from what I've learned, a combination of animals that we already know, right? So, um, one of the Inktober 52 prompts is uh, dragonfly, and I was thinking of doing an actual dragon flying, and then I couldn't sleep, as is my way, and ended up thinking up a whole creature that I could make out of my head like different animals put together and uh, yeah I got all kinds carried away you guys okay let's this is like the pouch for all the pollen it's pretty solid looking but it has a bit of gloss and shadow to it so I'm gonna leave some space that. And then here we have touches of yellow for the legs, like so. That. There's one. And then this guy has a bit there and there. And then, let's see, what do we got? This guy has a nice yellow ridge on each side. And then we got some yellow here. I'm trying to block in all the yellows where I see them on the B. Because this is fairly... Um, this is going to be a fairly... Um, accurate yet impressionistic view of this bumble. Alright, so let's get a little wing action happening here. Because he is flying. Uh, and I am one of those artists that gets their hands on the paint and I'm not afraid to get dirty and be expressive with my um my ways. He's got wings up back there. Alright, and then there's a little bit of going on there. Like so. Like that. Okay. Do we want to do any more yellow? I want to do some there. And then I want to do some there. Technical terminology. I'll pow, 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 pow. <laughs> there. And let's see. What else do we want to do? Alright. I'm going to do a couple dots here. And that's there. 
And I think we're done with the yellow for now. We're going to set that aside. We're going to go in with the brown. Um, are you brown? Yes. Brown Unipasca to soften some of the transitions. Like so. Hmm. I do like a nice mixed media piece. Super fun. Digging the textures over the Posca for sure. I really need my blendable. These aren't feeling terribly blendable. Where's my paintbrush? There you are. Alright. Are they water soluble at all? No. We tried that, right? Yeah. And then the Posca pen is solid once it's down. Okay. I'm and then here's this leg. He's got a lot of browns mixed with his yellows. Then we've got some more yellow. Pow, 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 pow and drag it up like that. There we go. There, there, there for sure. Okay. And then dot of brown right there. And how am I going to convey this black and yellow situation? I'm going to do that, you guys. How about. Oh, I'm going to probably regret this. Uh, let's turn it the other way. Is purple like super vibrant? Where's one of my blenders? I, I know that didn't come with the box, but I'm grabbing a stomp, you guys, to see if I can get these to blend a bit. And oh, yeah, there we go. Let's soften. See, that's better. And then we can get a little bit of, um, definition going on the, um, the B here. The purple can be like the shadow of the black. We like that, right? Yeah, that looks cool. All right. Um, I'm wishing I had a black pen. I'm gonna da, 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 da. smudge that there. And he has a little bit of you know what I can do, y'all? You know? <laughs> just occurred to me. Alright, we're gonna put this down. I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna take the green. <sighs> I'm so scared. Okay. I'm gonna take the green and dot dot water before it has a chance to dry yeah all right so and then up here there's a little more green right here Okay, I dipped the um, this in water and then went ahead and painted with it. Yeah, I'm digging that. How's that looking? Oh, that looks cool. Okay. See, we have a problem now, y'all. Minor addiction right here. That. Is that going to dry right or is it going to be weird? Dig in the texture of the paper for sure. Okay. And here. We 
digging that? Are we digging it? water. Oh, yeah. Right here. Then water. And dip it in. As we can see through the wings a bit, right? Maybe, maybe some of this mint as well, Lana. Oh, I like the splatter. Splatter, that's fun. Oh, I'm digging that. <laughs> that makes it fun. Oh, I like it. And then we'll go in. I dig the splatter. Alright, and then there's the back end of the B-Wing. Don't want it to be too crazy prominent. I can't tell because of the, the reflective light. But I'm pretty sure. Let's. Da, 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 da. Ooh, look at that. It spreads out nice. That's fun. I think the splatter sounds fun. some green down around his little bee butt here. Like so. So that mint in there, why not? And let it spread or move. And some of the green in there. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> One sploosh and it kind of goes all over the place. Alright, digging it. Let's get in here. Like that. Because once this Posca pen's dry, I'm pretty sure it's set for life. So just know that when you go into this kind of crazy chaotic creation process I'm, I'm on right now. And roll with it. And a little bit of mint. And spread it around. Yeah, we'll take it. Dropping some water on, like so. I'm going to come around and around and around, like that. Down to our petal. Why not? Wow, this paper is super water absorbent. Can you tell that it's really absorbing that water? Sucking it in. It's a thirsty paper for sure. Let's do a dot of green everywhere. And some mints. And then some more water. And move it around. Like 
that. And yeah, I'm digging that. How's it looking on camera, you guys? I haven't looked up in a while to see what's going on. Like that. I'm digging that speckled effect. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How are we looking? Oh, that looks so cool so far. I am totes digging it, you guys. Okay, there's that guy, and then this yellow pouch has a lot of black, and his little bee butt is right about here, 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 and this, and there's bits away there, so let's drop in some water like we did before on the other side because this is a thirsty board remember super thirsty so drop in some lots like so round around down 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 spread it out and then that color and great nice and then just move it around let's drop some water on these guys because I don't know if I want them that bright how bright are they oh wow Ooh, that's super bright that's blot Blotting is necessary. <laughs> okay. That's less intense. Yes? We like less intense for that color. That that mint color, that aqua green is super vibrant. Okay. Okay. That's better. That's less intense. I mean, I'm all for intense color, but woo! Okay. Yeah. Are we in the shot? There we go. Let's get in the shot. I mean, cheese and rice. And then maybe another splotch of that or a splotch of that. Um, How's that? Like that. There we go. How are we looking? Crazy? <laughs> Completely. Alright, I dig it. I am digging all this. Let's do a little, a little more. I, I really like the splatters of this color everywhere. That's nice. Okay. I'm going to cap these two colors and put them over here. Then we're going to take, let's see. 
the purple and we're going to go in here and we're going to do our black with a few little purpley marks like that like that some right here where's our blender here we go smash that into the paper nice and hard like so over the top of that Posca. Yeah, I, I kind of like that. Okay. Let's put some little bit of there. Let's grab the brown. Put some brown here. And some brown here. And then, let's see. A little bit of purple in the wings. There we go. There. And then here. Like that. And then just a skosh there. How's that? Yeah, that looks cool. Alright, I'm digging it. And we've got some little bits of purple there. And then in there, and then on his B butt, and then maybe just a bit here. I got carried away with that, and then some here, and then let's see, we need the yellow, da, 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 and smoosh that up like that. Else do I need speckles for the bee? Right there. Yeah. Okay. And then na, 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 na. like that. Comes around like that. Uh oh. Oh no. I got dropped one. No worries. I got it. <laughs> All right. Let's set him aside. Let's take this purple and get our flowers lined in here. Like that. There. Oh, something there. Gently. Can I get a, you know what I want to do, I really want to pull this out a little bit. Most of my pastels, if you grab the tip of the paper and you pull, it'll pull it out, but apparently not with this one. So we'll just grab it. My fingernail broke. It doesn't, the paper doesn't want to be peeled off. How rude. Come on. Just a little for me. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, all right, I guess. <laughs> Just drag it over this part so that we get a little bit of indication of purple, but not too bright, right? It's purple right through here. Where's our blender? It's in my hand. Don't get excited. Kind of push it in. This is a blending stump, you guys, that I had in my stash that I'm using right now. It was not in the box, but it's hard to blend these pastels without it. And get a little bit of just a little bit of color right there because it's in shadow. Let's see if it'll blend around a bit. Just a squish, right? There we go. Okay. 
And I'm going to come in here with our, our Posca white after I drop in color and see about um, make it a pop a bit. Maybe. No, that's too bright. That's too bright. Okay. There. There. Kind of moving in the direction that the flowers veins are going. Like that. This one kind of comes around like that. There's a shadow over there. Pop that. I'll just push it down a little bit. <laughs> How's that flower looking? Alright, let's pop some green in there. And some, oh, you know what? There's some browns on these little weird um, stem things. Browns there. There's some browns there. Like that. Like that. And then on the tip of this guy, there's some browns as well. And let's see. That blend a bit. Not really. That's okay. I'm gonna come in and use our green and paint that kind of like this into those browns like that. There we go. Out of it. Like that. There we go. How's that look? Pretty neat. Alright. Down here we have some shadowed greens happening. So I'm going to use quite a bit of water and just do a little, a little bit of color like that. Down here. How's it? There's that. Let's see, what else should we do? We should do next is drop in some white, I think, to make everything kind of pop a little bit, but not a lot. So, ooh, that was tipped a little bit. Let's not tip it over the painting. And go ahead and use our paintbrush. Blot it off. Grab a little bit of white and drop it in where we need our highlights. So his little bee self has a bit of highlight here, here, there. A little bit 
down here. How's he looking so far, you guys? Pretty neat out, right? Now let's do a little bit of sparkle on his little tips here. Carried away. Let's grab some little little bits of hair from his little body like that. And then like this. Little dots of sparkle. Like that. His B butt has a little bit of sparkly hairs happening back here, like so. There we go. This section also has a little bit of sparkle. Like that. And then this section has a touch of sparkle down here. Like this. Actually, a bit of yellow sparkle there with the white. Their little legs tend to be pretty hairy, which is why they're getting little bits of. Um, a little, every little part of them tends to be a little bit hairy, like this, just a little, just a touch, just a little sparkle. Like that, how's he looking? Pretty neat oh, right? Let's not get, I don't want to get totally carried away with his brush marks and swoops. The last thing I'm going to do on him is his wings. So we have a little bit of sparkle there. We have a little bit of sparkle there. And then there's some, some sweeping sparkles there. And here. Along the top of that, where they meld together, and then along there. How's that? I dig it. I'm digging him. I love painting bees so much, you guys. So, so much. How's that? Oh, his wings look cool. Oh, does he read as a bee, you guys? I think he reads as a bee pretty well, right? Let's put some more yellow here and blend it around. So 
So that's more filled in right there. bit of yellow splatter on his little black body because it's too dark. There we go. How's that? Yeah, that looks good. Now his little bee butt is not prominent enough and then we have the flower to take into consideration. Let's use some of the pink on the flower for fun. And these little weird green bits have that skosh of pink on them. And we should use all the stuff that came in the box, right? How's that? Oh, I'm digging that. That looks kind of cool. And then this one. Like so. Good. Digging it. Okay, let's, let's zoom out a little bit. You guys can see the whole piece. What do we want to do to make it like shine? How about we do a little more white on the flowers to kind of make them sparkle a bit. Add some water right there. Just grab the flower bits. Add a bit of opaque white to them. Maybe a touch more. Like that. to dig that, but not really. How about we do a little bit of dry brushing with it instead of... the white, like... really like that? Yeah, that looks better. Okay, and then... a bit of it here. A skosh of a line there. Oh, I forgot this petal back here. Oh well, let's add some purple to that one. Like that. And there is our purple. Kind of super heavy. Like so. digging this whole piece you guys all right I'm gonna call it good because I feel like if I do too much more to it it's just gonna ruin it but this is our piece for with our new palette packs box whoops come here get in the mix we like you to be present and accounted for there we go there's our Copic white there and there we go let's zoom out a little more and you guys can get a little look see at that i really dig the dig how it turned out i kind of like the board it's fun to work on it's highly absorbent and let me know what you think of the bee in the comments below now i will see you guys in the next video have a great night bye